I'm just getting ready to start benchmarking this brand new AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 3D. The one that's only available in the USA from Micro Center and the one that Wendell of Level 1 Techs very kindly sourced for us. I have the processor. I have this Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master that I used for my recent AM4 benchmarking. I have this Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080 Gaming OC graphics card which might be slightly overwhelming for the poor little Ryzen 5. However, before I can get busy, I need to update the power supply on the test bench from this Seasonic Vertex GX1200. And why, you may wonder, do I need to do that? 1200 watts of Seasonic gold rated power supply, pretty much the latest specification. The explanation is I have a brand new Prime power supply to replace the Vertex. We take the Vertex GX1200 Gold, drop in some Prime goodness, and the result is this. The Seasonic Prime Platinum PX1600. 1600 watts of ATX 3.0 power supply that's bang up to date. And absolutely ideal for my test bench. This is going to be an unboxing of the Seasonic Prime Platinum 1600W ATX 3.0 power supply. However, if you head over to kitguru.net, you can read Alan's full review of the Titanium 1600W ATX 3.0 power supply. Boiler alert, he likes it a great deal. The three ATX power supplies have a great deal in common. The two 1600W units, either Titanium or Platinum, externally appear to be absolutely identical. It comes down to the efficiency of the internals. The single 1300 watt model only differs because it has one 12 volt high power connector where the two 1600 watts have two 12 volt high power connectors. So there's a huge amount in common. Let's open the box, see what's going on inside. Chance to win a Steam e-gift. Instructions on how to insert your 12 volt high power cables correctly. General instruction bump, cable ties and screws. Huge amount of cables. And the power supply. Drawstring bag. Fully modular, two 12 volt high power connectors, heaps of other connectors, PX1600, ATX3, also rated very highly by Cybernetics. A stack of cables, this is actually a European spec power supply, so it comes with a European cable. However, we have been sent a UK cable separately. Ooh, actually this is this is genuinely exciting. This little gadget is a 90 degree power adapter for the main power connector, also includes a power supply test function. When your motherboard is in the case, this is meant to be an unboxing, it's become a workshop, and the power supply is, let us say, down here. The cables come up, go through a grommet typically, and then have to flex around block connector connected and now the cables have to come around through a tight 180 and typically through a grommet to go to the rear compartment of the case. That's how it looks, you've seen this many times. These individual cables that Seasonic's been using on some of its higher end power supplies recently including the Vertex uh, flex much more easily than the traditional licorice cables but nonetheless you still have that bend going on. This gizmo goes like that. I can imagine that with some cases that's going to be potentially problematic because it makes your motherboard quite wide, particularly with EATX boards. However, if your case is a reasonable size, by which I mean reasonably large, and you have an ATX board, I think that is going to be absolutely superb. Let's take a quick look 
at the Seasonic Prime family of power supplies. Up the top we have titanium with the 1600 watt ATX3 at the very top of the tree, then the 1300 ATX 3.0 below that, and then a number of other primes below that from 1000 down to the 600 fanless. Below prime titanium we have prime platinum, this 1600 watt ATX 3.0 at the top of the tree, and then another six models below that, and there are also five prime gold models. In the package for all three ATX 3.0 power supplies, you get a great many cables and accessories. The significant thing with ATX 3 is the ability to handle voltage regulation well and also to handle over voltage, including momentary bursts to double the rating of the power supply. Seasonic terms the feature they use here micro tolerance load regulation or MTLR. You'll have to refer to Alan's full review for the details of this feature. In essence, it comes down to clever design and careful selection of high-end components. As I've already mentioned, these three ATX 3.0 power supplies have very similar connections and cables. However, the titanium 1300 watt only has a single 12 volt high power connector, where the two 1600 watt units have two 12 volt high power connectors and cables. And as you can see, the cables are this Seasonic braided design, which is incredibly high-end and sleek. Quite frankly, with a power supply at the ultra high end of the market, we would expect nothing less, but they do feel and look very nice. You pay a significant price for any of these power supplies. The 1600 watt platinum is 380 pounds or $390. The 1300 watt titanium is 410 pounds or $400 and the 1600 watt titanium is 480 pounds or $470. Seasonic offers its hybrid cooling solution controlled by that button there. It's a 135mm fan with a fluid dynamic bearing which promises very quiet operation when the power supply has minimal load you can turn the fan off but as we know a fan that spins not at all or spins very slowly to the ear sounds absolutely silent. The list of features you get with the Prime ATX3 power supplies are absolutely top notch. There's literally nothing here we'd like to change, maybe with the exception of the pricing. And as you'd expect with Seasonic Prime, you get a 12 year warranty. I think the final part of this unboxing is to remove the vertex from my test bench and to install the Prime. Out with the old, the old, it's barely been used. And in with the new. And once I've installed a few of these cables, I'll be all ready for that brand new Ryzen 5. Do be sure to head over to Alan's review at kitguru.net and to see exactly what he thought about Seasonic's brand new Prime ATX3 power supplies.